This is a HeadGum Podcast. Wags, cold turkey may be great on sandwiches. Mm. You know it is. Oh, yeah. But there's a better way to break up your bad habits. We're not talking about some weird mind voodoo from your crazy neighbor, Katrina. Don't get me started on my crazy neighbor, Katrina. Hey, here's an idea. Oh, God, here. I'm just coming home. I'm coming home from my nine to five, the Doughboys. Yeah, uh, I got my podcast. lunch pail. I got my hard hat on. I just want to, you know, get in doors and kick up my kick off my shoes, my work boots. Yeah, why do but you Katrina's. wear a hard hat? <laughs> you use, mostly in the break room. Are you afraid of like a coconut falling on your head or something? I it, mean, look, it's a podcast studio, so anything, there, yeah. could anything could happen. Anything could happen. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about our sponsor, Fume, and they look at the problem in a different way. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong, so instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Fume is an innovative, award-nominated device that does just that, Wags. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural, and instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air, and instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses all-natural, delicious flavors. You get it. Instead of bad, Fume is good. It's, it's good. a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy. Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your habit. Wags, the first time I looked at my fume, I thought it looked like a, the coolest little contraption I'd ever did see. It's handsome! It's well-weighted, perfectly balanced, extremely fun to fidget with. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories, and there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com and use code DOUGHBOYS to save 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfume, T-R-Y-F-U-M dot com, and use code DOUGHBOYS to save an additional 10% off your order today. Do it. Hey, buddy, it's Weiger. The WGA strike continues. And for as long as the strike is going, I am not doing scripted intros here on the Doughboys podcast. But I do have another Weiger's Nito stat of the week for you. And because we have a feature film writer, a screenwriter as our guest today, I thought I'd do one focused on screenwriters who are an oft neglected part of the guild because TV writing has become such a uh, preeminent part of it. Here's a stat for screenwriters. For screenwriters specifically, median pay hasn't increased since 2018 and has declined 14% when adjusted for inflation. Now, we don't need to get into which president is responsible for inflation. That's not a discussion we need to have right now. Just the thing is, if you're writing movies, and we know how big movies are, we know what a huge part of their culture they are, whether they're in theaters or whether they're streaming or whether they're on premium cable, if you're writing movies, your pay is going down and it's going to continue to go down unless this new MBA is settled. So that's one of the reasons we're on strike. There are many reasons we're on strike, but fundamentally it is about they're making more profits, we are making less income. Anyway, enjoy this week's episode, which is episode 400. Wow. Welcome to Doughboys, the podcast about chain restaurants. I'm Nick Weiger, along with my co-host, Pants the Crapper, the Spoon Man, Mike Mitchell. So I'm a guy who shits his pants now. <laughs> uh, that's what the roast says. That's courtesy of Aaron, roastspoonman at gmail.com. Just the guy who shits his pants. Pants the Crapper. <laughs> pants the Crapper. You know Chance the Rapper. I'm not this even a guy. Pants the Crapper. I, I, as, a, as a human being, I'm not a guy who, like, shits. I mean, I, I guess it doesn't happen to people a lot anyways. Depends on, I mean, like, do you ever see that George Brett video? It's yeah. fucking incredible. George Brett just tells this long story about shitting his pants in Las Vegas. A retired Major League Baseball player. I think he's now a manager somewhere. That's or good. manager. He tells this long story, and at one point he's like, I'm good for once a year on that. Like, he shits his pants annually. That's... Which is intense to think about. I've never... I've never, like, I've never been in my car being like, I'm shitting. Like, that's never happened to me before. I've never shit my pants in my car, but I've definitely shit my pants mm. as an adult. I don't know if I have. You, Mitch, come on. Hold on. I, like, I've had, like, the stomach flu. Yeah. And I, I really don't think that I've done it. 
The last you did tell on the podcast, I did receive a very panicked phone call. That's true. You you had a near miss. Maybe, yeah, I had the near miss. Maybe that's what. Maybe you're just like you know it's coming, and yeah. you're able to 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 audible as needed. I put myself in like intense pain holding. Yeah, and like 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 writhing in pain, basically. Thus, it's an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> I need the code to your office. <laughs> you someone... will be asked to leave the office <laughs> within the month. <laughs> <laughs> that was the follow up call. Uh <laughs> You did think someone got killed, but that doesn't. I did. It was. It was the tone of your voice. It. It was like this is an emergency. I need the code to your office. I don't know why the code to my office would have helped if someone had been killed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but... You think I was gonna get him a fucking pencil? Yeah. <laughs> Here's a fist fight poster to wrap around your wound. <laughs> no uh, thanks. Uh... <laughs> Last time I think I shit my pants, I was like entering my apartment like i was like i had to shit so bad i mm. almost made it home and then my mm-hmm. body was like you're home there's the toilet time to shit you know what a nice surprise like, for natalie i'm back <laughs> <laughs> fucking shitting your pants as you walk in speaking of shit episode 400 guys <laughs> bitch susser this is sparta 400, 400. <laughs> uh it's episode 400. Let, look, let me, Mitch, you, you have a drop to play. Mm-hmm. Let, why don't you play your drop? I'll introduce our guest, and then we have some big, some breaking chews we should get to. Yeah. That if you're watching the video feed, you may have already picked up So on. this is a clip from episode one. Wow. The Phantom Menace. <laughs> <laughs> How cool would that be? That would be fucking awesome. Something that we just started the other day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I guess that comes out later. You're in the future, Mitch. Oh, shit. In the right <laughs> temporal space. <laughs> You'll see. Uh, all right, oh, I'm gonna hit him with hit him with the a, a, a clip of the first drop. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Spoon Nation. Oh God! Howdy, howdy. What? Okay. Of course, I'm that special. How about that? You got the whole drop strung strung out into one uh one wave file. I gotta give a uh, the, the I give a. Uh, Jesus. The inside scoop, or uh, maybe the golden scoop. What do you like better? Inside scoop, because I think we got golden plate club. I think we had enough gold. Okay, fine. There's yeah, too much gold. Inside scoop to uh, Duncan Carey. Uh, he, uh, he Duncan. He, he made me this little MP3. That was nice of him. Yeah, at Duncan Carey. Yeah, nice Thanks, guy. Thanks, Duncan. That's great. Thank you, Duncan. The inside scoop. Thanks. It's, it's, it's you all dropped the played inside out scoop. for me. Thanks, yeah. Duncan, for derailing the top of the podcast in perpetuity. <laughs> we'll now have Mitch playing his long string of drops every episode. And you know what? There's plenty more of those. I got to give a big shout out to Spoon Nation. And maybe every week I'll give some member of Spoon Nation uh, an inside oh. scoop. Wow. Yeah, to add to the roster. Yeah, and then you can the uh, scoop. you can just have like a who's who, a who's who of, of the inside scoop. Did I do it scoop. a week later? No, no I think you probably immediately at some point it. you'll just start reading at the top of every podcast <laughs> a list of names. You know what? Today's inside scoop goes to Duncan. Wow. 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 Another inside scoop. The second ever inside scoop back to the original recipient. Yeah, I guess How he's the only that? one who gets it. Poetic. I uh, you should I think that's all you have to do when you read the emails like this this week's inside scoop is whoever made that drop. You so one more bit of business to remember. You sound like you were in a haunted house. You sound scared. I don't know what the fuck you were gonna pull back then. <laughs> you, you get a new drop. I don't know what that is. You have like this energy of like huh, uh, we got a lot to do here on this show. This show's bullshit. <laughs> I had it. I here's here's what it probably the energy was. I had an outline, mm-hmm. and then you were like, "I got a curveball for you," and I'm oh, like, "Here we Jesus go." Jesus Christ! I think that's probably where it started. This guy with the outlines since day one. The outlines us. are great. The outlines are helpful. Uh, hey, uh, you know who else is great? Our guest, the commissioner of the Doughboys Tournament Champions, Evan Susser, is here. Hi, Sus. Great to have you for episode hey, 400. Guys, it's great to be here for episode 400. We have so much to discuss, but do we want to do the plug first? Let's do this first, because if you're watching the video feed, you may be noticing that Mitch and I are mm. wearing brand new Doughboys merch, as is our guest. That's as right. Susser. New mm-hmm. Mitch merch, everybody. New, new Mitch merch, new Doughboys merch. Uh-huh. And we have partnered with uh, Kinship Goods. And this just basically came about because we were fans of them. It turned out uh, they were uh, at least aware of us, mm-hmm. uh, and um, they were they were happy to to put together some like really high quality. Just like if if you if you know our old merch, you have some of our old merch. You know, it's maybe not the most durable, maybe not the best. Incinerate fabric. that shit. You got yeah. hoodwinked. You got, got hoodwinked. <laughs> we scammed you a little bit. <laughs> 
It's bad. Yeah. Throw it in the trash. This is the good stuff. It's this stuff is going to buy a t-shirt. Can I interest you in a Doughboy Elixir? <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's good. Q is everything that ails you. I, I couldn't do an old-timey guy. That was great. Thank you. Here's everything that ails you. There we go. That's some no boy's signature snake oil only from the <laughs> finest serpents. Uh, so the um, so here's what we're wearing. And Got I, a case I'll, of the rumblies? This will clear you right up. <laughs> well, you don't like this? I think that's great. No, I'm talking to Sus. Sus that's does. Good. I all, like right. It. all right. <laughs> you can commit to the voice more. It seems like you're mad today. No, I'm not mad. I'm happy. Okay. Oh, all right. All right. Look, I'm glad because we had. Let's 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 say focus on this right now. Okay. There was some anger we're gonna address. Yeah. The the People URL are probably confused because they've already heard about the anger. The, <laughs> the URL is doughboys.kinshipgoods.com. K I N S H I P goods.com. Doughboys.kinshipgoods.com. We'll put it on the screen in the YouTube as well. Uh, and shout out to uh, Dan, Hillary, and Joseph over there uh, who worked really hard at doing a lot of that. It's Mitch, different Hillary. Oh dang! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Bill's disappointed that it's not his wife. Yeah, <laughs> I want her to be. It would be nice if she was working at Kinship, so I don't have to deal with her anymore. <laughs> Uh, here's what we're wearing. Mitch has a Five Forks hat, which I think is just like a, a great piece. Mm -hmm. uh, I love it. You've got a you got a new our new wave Doughboys logo shirt. That's which right. You got in, you're wearing in gray. And hey, this is also available in some more colorways. We got this in a blue uh, with a monochrome logo. I'm not sure if that's showing up on camera. Great, like dangerous, blue. dangerous choice for a big guy. And we've also got a gold Ooh. yellow. I love gold. Look at that. <laughs> Gold member. <laughs> and speaking of gold, Susser is wearing the Golden Plate Club yeah, t-shirt, which is a that. totally new design. This look at that. Look really how cool snazzy one. that is. It's comfortable. It also, you know, it's kind of like a if you get it, you get it kind of thing. 100%, yeah. And yeah. Susser also has an I'd rather be eating at Taco Bell hat. Yep. Which is why you want like a little subtle sort of doughboy. Yeah, I'll reference. be honest. My least favorite of the hats, but they took the other ones. But still, they're all good. It's a good hat. It's, a good it's your hat. least favorite of the hats? Well, I mean, I think the other, it's more of a compliment to the other two hats being so good. Oh, way to push the merch. <laughs> uh, I got a trucker hat I'm wearing, the Doughboys logo with a with a little spoon and a little burger mm -hmm. for a couple of the letters. Uh, it's, a, it's a red, white, and blue, nice and patriotic, uh, very fast food adjacent. And I'm also wearing, Mitch, a Wally and Irma t-shirt. I know, t -shirt. I love that shirt. Great I do shirt. love that nice shirt. Nice little new, new Wally and Irma design, fresh Wally and Irma design. So all this stuff is, again, it's super high quality, um, and we're going to be able to offer some stuff we haven't offered in the past, including this Five Forks apron. Look at that. Wow. A lot of people I hear like to listen to Doughboys when they're cooking yeah. or in the kitchen, and mm. now... You've got mm. an apron to match what you're listening to. And we've also got a tote. A tote. So how about that? This is good. The tote, you want to read what it says? The tote says, I promise this is a bag of healthy groceries and not just a ton of Taco Bell. Which wow. is funny. Which is a lot of fun. You could fill it with Taco Bell. You could. You could, and or then you're, you're lying. Groceries, or you're just at the grocery store and someone says, that's a really funny bag you yeah. got. That, it's funny to think of, you know, like a listener's wife. Some supermodel coming home from <laughs> the store, and then their husband, or their uh, their husband, or significant other is just like, well, groceries, and then you know they open up the bag, and there's Taco Bell in there, and there's a big celebration. Taco Bell, yay! Yay! Let's eat after I'm changed. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> fucking hate that guy. <laughs> Doughboys.kinshipgoods.com. We're we're so so excited. We 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 feel like we finally have like good merch. I'm yes. playing. I'm playing. Uh, what's the new Zelda game called? Uh, Tears of the Tears, Kingdom. I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom. Rested on my belly. <laughs> <laughs> the guy sucks. Yeah, bad guy. Uh, there was one apron. You, there wasn't there a blue apron. Was there also a blue apron? Uh, That's a food it. delivery service. What? Wasn't Blue Apron? Yeah, Blue Apron. We used to be a sponsor. Mitch is getting up. He was mad about that. Susser, I, I'll ask you while Mitch is going to retrieve a, mm -hmm. a possibly a non-existent blue apron. I'll believe it when I see it. Uh, uh, we have, we have, what we've been doing on the Doughboys Double this month is Mank. We've been watching the films yep. of, of David Fincher. Uh, do you love the Finch Man? I love the Finch Man. Wow. Do you have any favorites? Um, I mean, I, I, know I weirdly wasn't prepared for it. I do think, though, it's maybe... A trite choice. I do think the social network is really great. That's a good, not a trite choice at all. Um, great movie. We just covered it with Drew McQueen. What are some of the other big ones? That... Uh, seven. Yeah, great. There's I mean, uh, all... the game. Mm -hmm. Mitch is wearing. Mitch has brought it out. It's my cooking is five forks and it's in blue. So you want it in blue, you want it in red. They're both available. 
Your choice of primary oh, colors. Sorry. That's all right. So yeah, that's a lot of fun. That's an exciting thing. Yep. We'll See, have more merch we're coming. We're off to a great start. We're off for to a great start. Four hundred. It's a very funny night. We dine in hell. Four hundred. <laughs> Did they say is is that the line? No, it's not. We die. We fight. Do we? Or is I think it, it's dine. It is dine. I think it's dine in hell. Like they wrote it for the Doughboys. Um, it is. I uh, f- episode the original episode four hundred was a rough one. Yeah, yeah. So do people know? People know. We, we maybe people are maybe confused. Maybe people are tuning in because they've heard whispers mm-hmm. about this episode four hundred. Here's what happened. We recorded an original episode four hundred with our original Doughboys guest, Eva Anderson. It was a revisit of episode one. And what we did is is Mitch, she had the very first Doughboys drop without that additional context. Mm-hmm. Um, I I used the first ever Roast Spoon Man. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, we re-listened live on the pod to uh, episode one and kind of did a live commentary, which in and of itself was a, that, that was just uh, a we'll disaster. Get to it, we'll get to it. Yeah, but more, more significantly than that, uh, Mitch and I were both in sour let's be, moods. Let's be careful. Yes. Okay. We were both in sour moods and things got a little heated and it reached sour a point where moods. it was. <laughs> was that the problem? We were hungry. I think we were hungry. Yeah. Uh, and we, uh, and we got, crankiness. it got a little feisty. It got a little cranky to the point where it was not even like a fun uh, listen. I mean, as far as I, as far as my perception of it, but but Susser is the one person outside of the people in this uh, in this call right now in this room, Casey and Emma, who's actually listened to this episode. And Hanford, he has to listen to it. I gave it to him. Wait, really? Oh, really? <laughs> you gave it to Hanford? The whole gimmick and idea here was that I was going to be the only person to have ever listened. You're going to share it to some random person in the Discord now. Someone no, 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 gonna mess no, no. You're going to send him an MP3. Disaster. No, <laughs> only Hanford. Just Hanford. Okay. Well, it's like the it's the grizzly man. You're the one. You, you are. You knocked the. My that's not the grizzly man. If someone else has heard it, <laughs> Susser's supposed to be the one guy the who's heard it. The whole idea here was that I was going to be the only person who will have listened. <laughs> that was the whole concept. You and Hanford. It's the, the two it of you. It doesn't work. Me it, and it, does. it does. Can we edit it and just. Sure. It just All right. Like, yeah. All right. We'll edit it. It doesn't work. <laughs> I'm so mad now. <laughs> The whole, the whole premise of this episode, the whole reason I'm here is to be the sole person who had listened to the episode that I have the secret knowledge. Yes. <laughs> Amelia listened to it. Come on. I, we weren't going to emphasize that. We, yes, of course. He's part of the you, team. Okay. A few other people have listened to it. But for the purposes <laughs> of, the, of this, just, I'm the only person who've listened. Just I'm the do the only... fucking line, for God's sakes. Okay. So here's what happens. No these one... guys record. These guys record this episode, and as has happened from times to time, there will be an episode of Doughboys where there's either a whole episode or an area of discussion, and a role that I fill that I don't make a whole lot of noise about, <clears throat> that I don't pat myself on the back for, mm-hmm. is that sometimes you'll ask me, "Hey, can you listen to this? Does this section come across weird?" Is this whole episode bad? Yeah. And usually I'll say, I am just there for peace of mind. And I usually listen and say, it's fine. It's funny. It's good. Yeah. Leave it every now and then. Like, well, I don't know if this whole, you know, extended Columbine run is really necessary to be included. But in general, yes. In general, I just say it's I great. disagree. This time I did have what we've called the grizzly man reaction, mm-hmm. which was, I think you do the voice better than me. Actually, when, Wags does the when, voice. Uh, Warner Herzog uh, hears a man being killed and yes. mauled by a bear, and he has the audio, and he listens to it in the movie very effectively. It's a documentary. You expect, oh, they'll they'll play that audio, but instead of that, they just show him listening on headphones mm-hmm. to it. Yeah, it's funny you explaining this, but yeah. you go on. And then he says, "You must never listen to this." Yes, he says that to the family member. Yeah. And that is how I felt after listening to this episode, yeah. is that no person should ever listen to this. Now, I'll, mm. there are a lot of reasons. Except maybe Hanford. Except for maybe Hanford. <laughs> Again, he was not, and then probably like anyone who texts me. No. <laughs> and Werner, Werner Herzog can listen to And if to you it. bump into him <laughs> or at live shows, yeah. he might just play it. Tom nope. Cannon on the subreddit yeah. uh, messaged <laughs> <laughs> DM'd Mitch, and so he's listened to it. But there are some highs 
to it too. And I think it's very important because a lot of the issues are it's relitigating stuff in that episode. And I don't want to get into relitigating the relitigating here. Well, so, also, and also, I think part of it, Bitch and I had a dis- had a very frank discussion offline, uh-huh. uh, and I think we that we kind of came to but, an agreement, and came an understanding. We worked it out. Yeah. But just um, since people, nobody is going to listen except for Hanford and I guess a lot of other people. <laughs> but <laughs> it is a shame because there are some real highs because it opens with a beautiful introduction written by Nick Wagner, which oh, now, God unfortunately. Bless you. No one will hear. And, yeah, no you know, I was said, oh, you have to listen to this. And I started listening to this intro. I'm like, this is great. I'm getting excited. It's nostalgia. I'm getting, you know, because it's 400 episodes and you start by looking back on all the amazing things that have happened on the podcast. You're talk about some. I wrote down some of the nice turns of phrases I like. But you, you talk about the snack, the hundreds of snacks, snarf, drinks, drank and toilets tortured. Which made me laugh. I like that. Oh, thank you. And you talk you can about still play your intro. No, 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 no. Let's not, no, no. no one must ever hear the whole thing. Uh, you talk about all the live shows throughout we'll send, North we'll send America. It to Cal we'll send it just the intro to Calpacus. <laughs> North America, no other continents. And then you point out all the seven episodes of Taco Bell and episode seven of Taco Bell. For some reason, came out before episode six, and I, which I I'd just, forgotten about. Can be honest with you, his intros are great. You're it hyping great. it up. I, I just had like a big smile on my face. You're hyping it up too much. Listening to it. Um, and then the last line is like, uh, you know, and throughout all, you, we've gained memories and mostly weight, which is funny. It's true. We have and I was just weight. so excited. Yeah, to no, we to can't it. play the intro. We can just have Sus kind of remember it. <laughs> I think that's the spirit of I think that's the spirit of the exercise. Yes. I think this is fine. And so then the episode starts, and you know, Eva's a guest who we all love Eva. Eva's, Eva's a great, great guest to be here for what happened. All time podcast. Yes. Uh, and there's just tension. And look, I didn't want to be here for another conflict episode. Yeah. I, I've i heard the He's feedback. He's so full of shit. No. Well, <laughs> look. It, no, it, 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 no, seriously. I, I've learned that I maybe was forcing conflict because I thought that that's what people wanted, yeah, and I feel like I got burned, <laughs> and people didn't like that. I don't think that's true. I don't and think you've been forcing God. I've been thinking, you know, I was expecting the next time I would be here for a full episode would be at the year end, and I said, I'm going to be here. I'm going to have a whole new persona when I come back at the year end. I've been work. I don't want to say it, but I guess I will. I've been working on, for the year end, Steak and Shake episode. I've been working on Evan Susser's Doughboy's Silliest spoofs and goofs spectacular. Wow. wow. You have like a new gimmick. Well, that was the idea. <laughs> is that now I was going to be celebrating silliest spoofs and goofs. Okay, so hold on. You were working on this? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, I've been thinking. A lot of it's been internal work. Uh-huh. Yeah, I yeah gotcha. okay. Like, I was thinking it would be really fun if there was like a song, like intro. Sure, probably, okay. About, and then All like, right, so hire then, someone like, to make a we song. We eat chili right. and we're silly. <laughs> It's a silly spoof is spectacular. Yeah, exactly. Okay, <laughs> and then, you know, we'd have like clips. Yeah. Like talking about Mark Doofs and yeah, that's another kind of like silly that's spoofs funny. and goofs. I was going to somehow reach out to the Doughboys community without you guys knowing. You got pickles. We want dilly. <laughs> it's the, I don't know. I was trying to get <laughs> it's in a there. Show where oh, we get nice and silly. <laughs> no conflict. I was rebranding myself. But then, so you guys have this episode where. It begins, and the conflict is clear. And I know, Mitch, this is in your defense. People will listen to an episode sometimes of Doughboys and be like, Mitch was so mad in this episode. Mm -hmm. None of you have ever heard Mitch be mad, like genuinely mad, except for me and now Hanford (laughs) 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 on the podcast. (laughs) Mitch was never mad on the podcast for real, but he was mad. Weiger was not mad at all, which was weird. Um, but I was, but I was, I was pressing his button. Yes, and also I was again, mad. Not I was mad before we're, we're, we're not, we're not relitigating yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but it's a very uncomfortable thing with also coming into it, and also I know the whole backstory. But if you were just coming into it cold, it would be very baffling because mm-hmm. it, there's just an energy to the whole thing, and there's a fight. And Eva, I think, much more. She really commits to. She makes a comment, should I egg on or should I be peacemaker? But she really tries to make peace. And she, she yeah, we a, love her. She does a, a good job at that. I can't um, believe we had Eva come in and record and now, a whole episode. Yes. And that won't be listened to. Yeah. <laughs> 
um, Wait, which what is was a her, bummer. What was her? What did she call it? The day the spoon cried. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like the, yeah, like the Jerry Lewis movie. Um, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> so, which was never released, right? Yeah, was, yeah. Uh, um, and again, I don't want to relitigate or get into anything, but there are. I mean, there. Are, the fight is pretty bad. The fight's bad. I mean, at one point, and, but it's mm. but also it is kind of funny because in spite of yourselves, and even in spite of you, Mitch, because I think you were genuinely trying to be, you were mad and angry, and you were trying to be mean at some points, but it was still funny. Yeah. yeah. Um, at one point, uh, <laughs> Nick said, I, I don't want to say too much either about yeah, this. Yeah, that's why you can be vague. But at one point, uh, Nick was like, oh, we should have ordered lunch. And then just very angry, you say, oh, maybe we can find a dog and give you a pile of dog shit and you can eat that, you piece of fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, very angry. <laughs> but also, pretty funny. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, I will say something that's not, then, not in the episode is when I first came in and I sat down I think Weiger said something to me. I said, fuck off like that. Yeah, you said that was the first thing you said. To I me said the first thing I said to him. Yeah. And Casey started to, Casey was like, ah! <laughs> 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 uh, it did make me laugh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I understood that I, I was so mad and it was funny to be mad at him. And yeah. I, I, look, I'm, I'm not going to relitigate. Yeah, we're not going to relitigate. Okay, yeah. We're not, we're not. And I'll, then, I'll, and just some, just Nick, some additional context, just, yeah. just add to that. There was, there was also, we were prepared for Mitch not to come in because he was already mad. Again, I don't want to relitigate. Well, we're not relitigating. I'm just saying we, we had a phone call. You said, like, you said you weren't well, coming Well, this also, in, this part of the reason I got mad, yeah. too. Because we, we don't need to get into it. I'm just, I'm just adding that context. <laughs> Why did you add that I'm in? Not say, I'm not saying you were being unreasonable. I'm saying that you'd been pushed to that point. That's all I was, I, I said you, too, you if, were very, I, if you don't you were apologize to me, I'm not going to come in. That's yeah. what and, I said. And, and Nick does apologize in the episode, but... He does. The way he apologizes is he says, in the interest of moving the show along, I will apologize. <laughs> Which, we covered it off air. Yep. We covered, we t- we... Again, we're not relitigating it. Mm-hmm. I think some Doughboys fans would love this episode. At least the first part. But unfortunately, they'll never listen to it. Yeah. It will only be me. And Hanford. <laughs> and Hanford. <laughs> uh, so here, here so, was my... I, I'm, I'm curious to where yeah. you land on this. I don't think this should ever be made public. Yes. I don't think this is going to happen just knowing Mitch, but my stance is that we should delete the files. I agree. Just per, just delete the delete the all, every export and delete the original source files. Mm. I agree with that. The other My I, I mean I think we should sell it for $1000 a pop. You you want to put it you want to like press it to vinyl. Yeah. If you want to listen to it, you freaks, you can listen to it. It's going to cost $1,000. Well, before people spend $1,000, let me talk about part two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what? That's bad because I feel like someone would buy it. Someone would absolutely bad. Would buy it before and they would just anyone buys it. it for $1,000. Then there's the other part because really my comment was this is unlistenable. Yeah. And yes, it refers to a very uncomfortable fight that I think crosses the border from being a fight that's funny to just like a fight that is uncomfortable. But then the second part of the, and this was just all the plan, was you guys listen with Eva to episode one, which is a very nice idea. It's really nice to be like retrospective and you comment on all these interesting things that there's not a drop in the first episode. That drop that we listened to mm-hmm. is actually from Tim Kalpakis's episode right. of Morton's. There's not a roast. Um, that didn't come out that that didn't come come until like, the, like a oh, year later. Oh, no, the later. first drop is from Vanessa's episode and the first roast is from Tim's episode. Right. Um, and this is also just to back up another funny Mitch moment is, uh, when you say, oh, we didn't have a roast until Vanessa's episode and Mitch, like, I guess trying to play along goes, wow, that's wild. Like, so sarcastic. (laughs) (laughs) Again, though, you're, people don't get to listen. Um, my fear with the episode, can I just say this, is that I was very upset and I thought for a good, I thought for a good cause. And I think if you listen to that episode, I'm just going to come off as the bad guy. I agree. You do come across as the bad guy. Yeah. Um, but again, we're not relitigating it. Wait, but I, I, <laughs> I think that there was an issue between the two. If yes. you had more context, you would understand why Mitch was so bad. Yes. I, would, I, I, was, I was at fault. Well, we well. were both at fault. Yeah. It's, not, it's not just you. 
but uh, but too. then the idea is that you guys are going to listen to the first episode of the podcast with Eva and then kind of like a director's commentary. Yes. yes. And this is the part that regardless of fighting or this part is truly unlistenable. It's complete nuts. Can, because, we, can we, I, sorry, please finish your thought. And then because you just have three people talking over three people talking. And so much to the point that I had to, I tried to listen. I could not get through it. It was driving me insane. So then I asked Emma for the audio without hearing the previous episode, which is a little better, but it's still pretty unlistenable because yeah. there are long stretches of silence and you don't know what is being referenced. Yeah. But at least it's a little, um, a little better. And I think it did serve its purpose that it was a nostalgic walk down the road. I and mean, in other issues, the guys, episode sucks. It the was first bad. episode yeah, is sure. bad. And bad you episode. guys did seem to be doing better by the end. Yeah, I think we I think we both we recorded a whole other guests. episode after we that. recorded a, an episode with Scott Ackerman immediately afterwards. And that one was a lot less contentious. Yeah, um, but we, we had also, have lunch. We, too. Al we also had lunch and we had a discussion. Uh, but, but just to give people an idea of what this because the idea of an audio commentary, I think to us made sense in theory. And then in practice, it was yeah, it just it just was unworkable. But uh, Susser and Mitch, why can you two have some a conversation maybe just about like what you had for breakfast? Uh, today for breakfast, I had two hard boiled hey, eggs. Hey, so uh, what Mitch is doing right uh, now is describing what he had for breakfast. Well. Oh, I uh, so it sounds like he had hard boiled eggs. It sounds like Susser had a bagel. That's mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah, that's bagel. Yeah, so that's basically what Did it was. Really have a bagel two lines Green of conversation. Piece? Yeah, it was Parents' Day at my uh, daughter's school. What type fun. of bagel? Everything bagel. Mm, where from? Like store bought. Not very good. Yeah, the everything store bought bagel is what it sounds <laughs> right. like. So yeah, anyway, that kind of shit. Uh. So that was a problem. Yeah, it was a problem. So the first part is unlistenable because it's uncomfortable, and mm. then the second part is unlistenable because it's poorly thought out. Sure. Yeah. No, I agree with yeah. that. I, I, I don't it's, think it's you're a wrong. failure on every level. Mm -hmm. It's a failure on a technical and on a creative level. I still think we should do a. Is it Martin Scarelli? Yeah. Scarelli. Scarelli. Is that how you say? Scarelli. Scarelli. I think that we Wu -Tang should Wu-Tang album. Yeah, just the Wu -Tang Wu -Tang yeah. Album. yeah, let's mm -hmm. let's call it the Wu-Tang thing, not the Shkreli thing. I don't think we're gonna model it. Well, he's the one it. who bought it. He's the one who bought it. But that's the thing, that's the, that's the kind of freak who's gonna fucking buy this shit if we yeah. publish it. Good. If it's Scre I hope it is Shkreli. <laughs> 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 but I'm glad to see you guys are doing better. And I'm glad we're to doing see a lot you better. Yeah, we're doing a lot better. And I really By the way, it was really... like three weeks ago. I know. Yeah. And I really I wasn't here to patch things up. You know, you guys did it without me. I have, I just had a baby, so you guys really had to, to do it on your own. And I'm proud of you. And I really, yeah, I, I wasn't, know. Well, I wasn't involved in any way. We're sorry that you're here today. Yeah. Oh, today. It, it's it's good. I'm happy to be here. And like I said, I'm rebranding myself. I'm not about conflict in you guys anymore. I'm I'm trying to just bring you guys together. This <laughs> feels like it's some sort of thing where we're gonna get mad at each other because what you're doing right now. <laughs> Doesn't this feel like some yeah. sort of fucking? We like snacking <laughs> and we like jacking. It's the oh, Evan yes, Susser silly spoof bus special. I, I am glad. I'm glad you brought that yeah. up because again, I don't want to get too into what's in the episode, what's not in the episode. That's only for me and Hanford. But um, you tell for some reason uh, a story that's a funny story about jacking off, but. For some reason, you get very specific about how and where you jack off an unnecessary amount of detail. Mitch did? <laughs> yes. Wait, the did I tell my first jack off story? No. It, should I, I guess I don't, we you don't want to tell. No, you can say well, it. Well, it involves uh, a laundry machine. Oh. Oh. <laughs> not, yeah, no, not I remember. I remember in, this now. Not that that's involved yeah. in jacking off. That's like a tangential part of it. Yeah. But again, we don't need to get I into... jacked off, and as I finished, the laundry machine went, do, 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 It was just a perfect timing. See, that is a funny and clear way to tell the story. Yeah. On the episode, for some reason, you decide it's necessary to describe where you're jacking off, what position into, in, in, you're in, in, fitting in, or standing. Yeah, right. There's so much detail. How many strokes. That none of that is necessary for the funny part of the story is I jack off, I finish, and then music plays. Yes. There was a lot of- I was standing of... up jacking off into the shower. The shower wasn't going. Uh-huh. <laughs>
<laughs> again. Yeah, you know, that yeah. detail is I not agree. necessary. Addition by subtraction. At least, that out. at least it was 10 seconds this time versus a cool minute and a half really walking through <laughs> what happened. You shoot it into the shower, you turn oh, on the shower, it's Jesus good to go. Christ. <laughs> All right, geniuses. What are you shoot into the toilet? I'm standing over the toilet. Got to aim down. I mean, I'm not really aiming anywhere. <laughs> um, let's look. We're about the half hour mark. Let's take a break, and we'll be back to, I guess, talk about this more. Maybe do something else. We'll be wow. back with more Doughboys. Mitch, you and I both probably spend more time on other people than we do on ourselves. You got to balance the two. It's so easy to get caught up in what everyone else needs from you and never take a moment to think about what you need from yourself. But when we spend all of our time giving, it can leave us feeling stretched thin and burned out. Therapy can give you the tools to find more balance in your life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. Wags, when I'm in therapy, I'm a better person. I get all the gunk that's in my head. I get it out there. I talk to somebody and I feel good. It's just what happens. When you're talking to somebody, you're feeling better. It's helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries and empowers you to be the best version of yourself. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Doughboys today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Doughboys. You know, Mitch... I've got a secret. Don't tell anyone. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Uh, I can juggle. Did you know that about me? I, I can didn't juggle. know that. Yeah, I can juggle. We all have interesting parts can of I ourselves. Can I just say, mm-hmm. thank God that's your secret. <laughs> it's one of many secrets Oh, I no. Have. See? We all have interesting parts of ourselves that not everyone gets to see. Kind of like what you keep in your underwear drawer. Mm. Me Undies is a celebration of what makes you who you are underneath it all. They know comfort better than anyone, from undies and socks to bold apparel like onesies and dog hoodies. And right now you can show off your inner environmentalist with their new sustainably sourced swimwear collection partially made from recycled nylon fabrics and water bottles. Wags, we both have me undies. Mm. They feel great. They're not yeah. I, I, you know what? They look snazzy too. You don't got boring underwear with me undies. You got stylish underwear. So when I take off my pants at the end of the night, Wally and Irma are saying, What's going on today? With What's dad up to today? He looks good. And they're comfortable. They're comfy. Wally and Irma know they look comfy. Mm -hmm. They can tell. I'll show them to Wally and Irma. They'll be like, they're like daddies. MeUndies has transformed the underwear game, and now they're entering their swimwear era. Wow. Ultra chlorine resistant, UPF 50 plus for extra sun protection, and sustainably sourced and imported under fair working conditions. Wise, get more than just junk in your mailbox with a MeUndies membership. Choose a new pair of undie socks or a bralette each month to grow your collection. You'll also save up to 30% on all the Me Undies snuggly softness you can handle. Plus, you'll get early access to special deals and new products. To get 25% off your first order plus free standard shipping, visit MeUndies.com slash Doughboys. Remember, if you're not satisfied, your purchase is on Me Undies. That's 25% off your first order at MeUndies.com slash Doughboys. Do it. Welcome back to Doughboys. We're here with Evan Susser. Uh, Sus, you've listened to the four and the original 400th episode yep. and determined that it shall never be listened to by anyone. And so this is the new 400th episode. Mm-hmm. And you also had a pitch for something we could Which discuss. makes it not the 400th episode, really. But the I mean, you made a good point. That's episode. what we said on the, right? That Well, that was my theory is that the universe made this impost that episode bad because we tried to record it too early. It wasn't actually episode 400 and it was dishonest and we got smited. I agree. Yeah, we recorded mm-hmm. record out of order. It was karmic payback. Yeah, that makes total sense. Mm-hmm. I agree. Uh, so we uh, so we had this dis- discussion of like, what should we talk about? What should we eat? You know, should we get steak and shake again? Mm-hmm. Um, no, and that's for the end of the year. That's for the end of the year. Uh, Are we still doing that or is this is this it? <sighs> I don't know because it's hard to get steak and shake these days. Yeah, no, have but have I'm, new... still, I'm still going to do a year end episode. Yeah, no, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, I no, didn't you know. The year what end. the fuck are you talking about? Well, I didn't know if this. I've been called in early, like you know, emergency. I don't know if I only get one a year, so it's like you know, you, you had the no, emergency hatch to bring me in now. I don't you want can people come to get on sick whenever of me. you want. Yeah. I, I understand, but I don't want people to get sick of me. 
I don't. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here more than you guys. Sick of this bullshit. (laughs) Shut the fuck up. (laughs) Okay. So anyway. I don't get, people are getting mad at me lately. Shut up, man. <laughs> Who gives a shit? <laughs> Do you really? I know no, you. I don't you don't care. really care. <laughs> anyway, so the so sus we we famously had the Evan Susser ice cream invitational yep. a few years back, and you know you're 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 something of a creamsman as are we, and you had the pitch of like you know what that episode was lacking that original one recorded, good humor. And so we're talking about good humor ice cream. Good humor. The company was. I thought you meant in, literally that it just wasn't funny. Well, that was. Uh, that, that is. Was, that, was that was the. That was the pun. How did you miss? Th- how did you not? <laughs> you thought that I thought the first episode was lacking good humor ice cream was my actual <laughs> opinion. <laughs> I got confused. <laughs> I thought, that? I thought you meant the Evan Susser ice cream invitation oh, was missing okay. good humor. Yes, we didn't cover it. We that. didn't cover it, no. No, I knew that I knew that like the the, the, the humor was missing from the show. Yeah, that was all and in general. Uh so Good Humor the brand was founded in 1920 by Harry Burt and thrived during the Depression and post World War II with a this is nice, especially given our current uh, labor situation, a largely unionized fleet of mm. ice cream truck drivers. Um unfortunately now it is owned by Unilever. Uh, which is one of those these multinational conglomerates that also owns Axe Body Spray, Ben and Jerry's, Dove right. Soap, Hellman's Best, Hellman's uh, and Best Foods mayonnaise, and and countless hey, other brands. Let me tell you, it's a pretty good. They got a pretty good umbrella. They got a decent lineup. I'm just saying, it's not maybe not the best company. Uh, and they used to have that. This is. Can one I also more... just say Harry Burt is a fucking Muppet ass name? <laughs> yeah, that would be. That's like a the, the flustered eagle or something. Like yeah, that, Harry Burt. Uh, and uh, they used to use their signature jingle on their ice cream trucks, a song, Turkey in the Straw, but apparently that mm. song's lyrics has, has has a racist history. Oh. So in 2020, they released a new one as a promotional thing by the RZA. And I thought we'd listen to this because this is something of a quiet banger. So this plays... Oh, nice. Does that this this uh, this plays when they come down the street? I don't know how much how often the trucks even come down the streets anymore. So that's cool. It's a nice little jingle. Wait, did the old jingle have lyrics? I mean, I think they played it from the. I think they played the tune, but if the lyrics to the tune, the lyrics were, were like racist. had a bad history. I don't yeah. want to sing the turkey in the straw now that I put it. Yeah. It's like okay. Anyway, we get a sense of it. Problematic. Thanks, Kizzy. Um, That's probably me humming it. <laughs> when in... Never mind. It's a... Um, uh, anyway, yeah. The, the, the nice vibes from that. Feels like it could be like, you know... A That's very comfortable. That's like main, going to menu sleep screen music. for Yeah, for puzzle, for a puzzle game or something like that. All right, so we've got some of these here. we got a few different options. Uh, we have a good humor strawberry shortcake. Wow. The class... To me... This is like the classic good humor bar. That's interesting. When I think of good humor, as I think of this, yeah, this is the one that's got the the cake coating, um, mm-hmm. and and the you know. But to me, the classic is the other one I got here, yeah, the cream. cream that's the other one. That's and the one I think of. They also have the drumsticks, which we don't have. Yes. Those are the big ones. And then this is a little newer, and it doesn't have on this particular box the good humor branding, but it is. It is a good like humor co Reese's with Reese's. Yes. Yeah. What's wait? What's the, the main good bar. humor bar? I mean, like, they don't have one. The they don't have like the a Mars. Well, well, what was the one you're saying that we don't From, have? Oh, the drumsticks. The oh, drumsticks. yeah. But those are also a lot of companies make those. And I think a lot of companies make all of them at this point. But these two are. I have a lot of fond memories of good humor. Me too. I love I love uh, their novelties. As a kid. Oh, I'm shocked by that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Reese's Dessert Bar is listed in their core lineup. That their their drumstick now that's remaining is the Vanilla King Cone. Like a lot of these companies, they've sort of streamlined their offerings. Mm-hmm. Um, the, also the Chocolate Eclair bars. Oh one yeah, which is basically oh, a chocolate version of yeah. the strawberry shortcake. But they're all the same, the same sort of ballpark. They're covered with some sort of coating. One of each of these, I guess, probably. Huh? We don't have, you know how to finish, but I mean, I kind of do want to eat or something. Right, I'm gonna start with. Oh, you know what? Should I get some bowls? Yeah, I'll get. I'll get. I'll, I'll start opening this up. Oh, Casey's gonna get the bowls. Casey's gonna get some bowls. Casey wants to get the fuck out of here. I don't blame him. He's worried another fight's going to break out. You know what's funny is that I think he was having more fun on the fight episode. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I asked him because look, yes, more people have listened than just me, and he said he liked it. He thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think he, that's he the second part was terrible and unlistenable. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're passing these around. Uh, apologies to anyone gold. who has misophonia, which we know we have learned is real. Mm-hmm. Mm. Just to bring it up, since wait, can I? I, I missed both oh, of those. Shit. Since in the all the stuff way. won't get um, mentioned. Yeah, it's crazy in the in the episode when you listen back. Uh, DoorDash gets mentioned, which Mitch has not even heard of at the time. Yeah, which is crazy. Uh, some of the other Obama. Yeah, from, you mean from episode yeah, from one? Episode one. Yeah, that was Obama recorded in 2015. Is Obama is president. Yes. Um, amazingly, the Jared Fogel scandal has not happened. That's right. That happened like a few and episodes into it. our run. Yes. Mitch called it. Mm -hmm. I knew that guy was fucking. You knew something was up with that guy. Yeah, he called it a little too well. <laughs> You know, he knew exactly what he was going to uh, do. I just knew something for. was up with that yeah. guy. Huge stash of child porn. Uh -huh. <laughs> Weird. He uses a server I know all the time. <laughs> Casey, do you want any ice cream novelties? You can help yourself if you do. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll, uh, I'll grab something. Grab, grab whatever you like. What are you going to do? Let's see, what, let's see what Casey no does. No Wally and Irma, even. Yeah, no Wally and Irma. Wow. Do you remember there was a, you told started? the story, I think, of rescuing a Wally and Irma at a certain point in the podcast? I don't That's know when sad that is. to me. Wally and Irma aren't even uh, wags. Wally and Irma are floating in there, some fucking stray cat's nutsack. Yeah. Exact same <laughs> joke you made in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Really? Yeah. I'm eating the cream chuckle right now. <laughs> eating the strawberry shortcake. I mean, this is a classic for a reason. These two flavors work so well together. I almost want the more acid orange, the orange. Weirdly, but I mean, it's it's very nice. It's really, I, I think it's, I it's really well balanced. At the end of the cream, I love the bottom of the creamsicle, like this part right here. Oh yeah, there's a little white stuff at the bottom. And then you get yeah. like that. Oh, so, to be clear, you like cream? <laughs> I like cream. <laughs> Man, this is fucking great. I wasn't going to eat really all this, good. but I, I'm, I'm going to pause because I, I will eat I'm going to eat this, this whole thing. I will it's absolutely fucking, eat It is delicious. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's fucking delicious. A good human, man. Yeah. He looks like... He looks like he could be problematic yeah. in some ways. <laughs> Have a good humor bar. It'll cure what ails you. <laughs> Made from pure snake oil. Things were better. <laughs> this, is, things are better now. This, was a, this is a better time in history for everyone. <laughs> I don't know why they had to change my great jingle. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, follow me on over to the Capitol. I'll bring you my good humor truck. <laughs> Listen, just follow the turkey in the straw. <laughs> Be so, playing it like the Pied Piper, <laughs> leading up the steps into Nancy Pelosi's office. Gonna jack off into a trash can. <laughs> I'll be standing over the trash can. Okay. <laughs> okay, good humor, man. <laughs> um, here's what I was thinking. We have seen recently kind of the resurgence <laughs> Of the super premium. Is this why cells are like piled as in like cereal? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bowl you of ice open cream them bars. all up? Yeah, yeah, taste them all. Uh, we've seen a resurgence of the super oh, premium. <laughs> what happened? It fell. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> Got cream all over his pants. Mm -hmm. Um, We've seen the, you know, the super premium ice cream boom mm -hmm. with those places. Do you think there's a world where ice cream novelties could become like, Chic and hipstery, a premium mm. version. I think that's a great call. I think you're ahead of the curve with that. I think, I think, I think, I think, a, I think a premium version, which kind of defeats the purpose of it, though, right? I yeah, well, but I don't know. I think there could, there could be a fun artisanal version. You know, we had a version of that with our our buddies at Nomad Ice Pops. They do a really, really Love high Nomad. quality high quality ice pop here in the check LA out area. Nomad if you if you haven't if you never had Nomad, those guys are fucking great. So I, I think they'll be, uh, you know, I think I think there are, there are people already doing that, and maybe we'll we'll see more. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that being more of a trend. All right, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna do something proactive. Wow. Here. I'm putting on my Doughboy's apron, so if I spill any ice cream, I get my five forks apron. I don't get any on my Wally and Irma shirt. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I've never had the strawberry shortcake. Wow. One. Really? Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's really good. It's fucking fantastic. The, I, the I love that cream. Is so good. Yep. Nice crunch to it. Yeah. It's more of a biter. In the creamsicle, you get to suck. Yep. That's true. You do get to suck the creamsicle. You get to suck and lick. Although you can bite the creamsicle, which I do. 
I mean, yeah, of course you bite it at some points, but you, you, you're getting licks in, right? Yeah, this is not a great liquor because of the texture. Here's my question about the texture. <laughs> what are these bits exactly? And do they exist in any other context? It's like, a, I mean, it's like a cake coating, they call it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I've only really seen it in ice cream bars. It's impossible to lick. I just yeah, you can't really lick it. <laughs> it's a bad lick. It's like licking gravel. <laughs> yeah, it's a terrible lick. It's a bad lick. Let me try. Bad lick. Yeah, it's a, it's a bad lick. Give it another lick, just in case. <laughs> yeah, you can't really lick the side effectively. Now, either. what about the Reese's bar? Because it's kind of similar. Can you lick that? <laughs> you know what? I should open that one up because that's the one I haven't had yet. No. Well, yeah, it's not a great lick. They're all the same sort of formula. There's some sort of, you know, either a, uh, either just a frozen solid exterior uh, with a creamy interior, or they've got some sort of texture to the outside. Uh, my Reese's is starting to melt a little bit. Oh, that's my God. Really, that's really fucking good. <laughs> oh, fuck. With peanut butter ice cream. Now, that's delightful. Just like Grizzly Man, I think that there was a chance that I tore you apart limb, limb from limb in that episode. I mean, we did talk about little, this. You got something in your beard. We, like a strawberry oh, shortcake. fucking cake. shit. We talked about this. We, we uh, got it. It fell to my pants. Um, we talked about this in the episode, but I said... I was like, we're going to fight. And then you said that you, we, right? Didn't we break down the fight? Yeah, you did break down the fight. Well, first of all, a physical fight. Why hypothetical physical besides fight. Besides, it's necessary to clarify that you're in different weight classes. Mm -hmm. uh, and he does say that. That he, won't get me upset I'm, <laughs> when I'm already pissed off. <laughs> and, but again, not to get too into details. Um, and then Weiger insists that he would fight very, very dirty. I would. If you were to ever fight. Mm -hmm. I would. Um, but yeah, it is a kind of. What does that entail? But like a, like clawing me, oh, monkey bites, mm -hmm. eye pokes. Mm -hmm. I also think, stuff. and the classic, like, wait, shit, I'm really hurt for real. And then you get off them, and then you know, nut shot. Mm. Yeah, 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 one yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, that, yeah. that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, but you talk about who would win in a fist fight. I think on that day, if you said I'm really hurt for real, I wouldn't slow down. Uh -huh. I think I would kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you would have killed me. I, I wouldn't have killed you. You didn't even you didn't even advance on me. I don't think you would have killed me. I think I was the angriest I've ever been, maybe in my life. Wow. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, have we seen you angrier? Have you have you seen me angrier? I don't know if I've seen you angrier, but I feel like I've heard about you being angrier. Mm. Maybe. I don't know. I'm about right. to finish this Reese's. This is I wasn't expecting this to be. It my was favorite. up there with the most upset I've been in my life, I'd say. And I thought that the podcast maybe would end. Mm -hmm. And I don't think either of us want that to happen because we work in the entertainment industry and we need the podcast to survive out here. Imagine if we'd ended the podcast then and then now <laughs> both are my union and your union about to go on strike. Mm -hmm. What the fuck would we do with ourselves? Um, I think I, I was chocolate all in my face. I think I was angry as I'd been. On the, sh I mean, definitely on the show. Ever, I think you're right. Substance, what the hell's going on here? Uh, I think that I think you're right in saying <laughs> <laughs> it looks insane. <laughs> no, um, my hands are sticky, and also it looks like you're not wearing pants. And it then, does look and like then, not and then oh yeah, I got these short shorts <laughs> in the apron. I guess that looks mm -hmm. a little revealing. Um, immodest, oh, but that was fucking good. But. Wise and I had a great conversation afterwards, mm -hmm. and we were and we were, and it was good. Yeah, and we buried the hatchet. Yeah, uh, but I think I was. It was maybe top. I was, it, 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 we, we, I was angry, and Wise was angry too. Yeah, we were, we were, we were, we were angry. We are different men, mm -hmm. and our emotions come out in different ways. Mm -hmm. Some would say mine do not come out, but they do. Mm -hmm. In fact, how I behave, mm -hmm. the kinds of things I say. And I also, we've known each other long enough where we know what to say to rile each other up. That's very true. And that's part of it. And also your coworkers and who people don't, you know, you don't like going to work. So no sometimes, you're going to work. You're, sometimes you're going to be think Casey mad. wants to be here? You think Emma wants to be here? No. no. Anything else? That's a fucking time Friday. Casey they don't want to be anywhere else. Do you, <laughs> don't matter time before Casey snaps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're all thinking it. <laughs> when you said like, you know, we know the things to say that like to, to get each other riled up. Mm-hmm. Like me being like, Sonic isn't blue or something, you know, like that will get you like pretty pissed off, right? <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> Not cool, man. 
But uh, we buried the hatchet, sus, and it was it was uh, it was a, it was a bad app. Probably better than this episode. I think this one's. I think this is pretty good. I think people are gonna be happy about it. How about this, this app? Pretty good. Yeah. Mm. I also think it's gonna remind people about good humor ice cream bars, which you maybe not had in a while. Mm-hmm. Which is just what our great. show is, is reminding people about products, basically. I mean, I mean, you know how much success we had with Burger King is back? It's true. <laughs> this is a new... <laughs> this is how a new, are we not going to BK good, is back, sure? This is good humor is good. <laughs> good humor is good. Good humor is good. Yeah, good humor is good. You know what's funny? I like the Reese's the least. Fascinating. To me, Reese's, it's... You can get Reese's in other ways, so it feels... The- there's nothing else like a strawberry shortcake bar. The, the, the Reese's, uh, the outside of the Reese's isn't as crunchy as the strawberry shortcake. For yeah. It's kind of like dry. Um, Like lightly breaded. No, that's true. It's a little bit more crunch, a little bit more like a, um, I think of a similar bar. The same sort of kind of thing. No, that, that's true. It's it's less of a standout. It's less unique. I mean, that cream is such a classic. I just finished this one. I am going to finish the strawberry shortcake bar, which means I'm going to be three for three. Uh, I don't know if it exists. But it feels like wow. Good Humor is a place that would have a fun factory tour. Mm. Have you guys ever done factory tours? Have you done any interesting no. factory tours? No? Have you done any? Not even like as I a went to one and I got, I got caught in a chocolate pipe and I got <laughs> eliminated first. Uh, I used to do, I think there are a lot of them on the East Coast. I'm kind of surprised you haven't. Done oh, the, I went to the Cape Cod Potato Chip Factory. Yeah, yeah I did fun. the Hers Potato Chip Factory. There's a Ben and Jerry's. Hers fun know to say. It. Yeah. Hers. And then when we went to uh, when you, when you were in the factory, was it like <laughs> like the end of Aliens? Uh-huh. Core shut down. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Hershey. I went to Hershey, Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They have a whole theme park there. Yeah, their factory. We were there and it was like closed, and like we did the indoor ride and got like Hershey's and then left. Yeah. That was kind of all we could do. I heard that play. That kind of sucks. The Hershey's factory tour. Yeah, I remember it not being like. I mean, also to be like, there's a big theme park, but like it's raining and you can't do any of it. And it was kind of like at that time of year where they, it's like barely open. And then uh, we went to Amish country. I remember yeah. we went to Amish country as well. That would be a fun. That would be a fun Doughboys thing going to Amish country. Yeah. And maybe we pull Kingpin <laughs> Citadario, it would be great. Yeah. They're like, who are these fucking losers? <laughs> <laughs> he find a teenager who was going on his rum springer. Yeah. And he goes on tour with the Doughboys oh, and then, come, be... then comes back immediately. <laughs> 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 the outside world, everything you've said is true. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I think the strawberry shortcake is the best. I think you're correct. Imagine being on your rum spring and listening to Doughboys. Do you mm-hmm. think that's happened? Do you think that's happened to someone? Wow. If you're if you're on Rum Springer right now and you're listening to the podcast, hit us up with hashtag Yum Springer. We want to hear from you. I bet that's I bet someone on Rum Springer has heard one of us on a podcast. Yeah. I think that's po- and totally wow. possible. Wow. I mean, I guess you're right. I'm always surprised by people who listen to the podcast, but I just had never thought about that before. Our food is here so early for the next episode. It's insane. Oh, we're recording two back to back. We're recording next week's ep- or recording the previous week's episode next. I think I should just bring it in here and we should eat yeah. it. Are they are your guests coming here? Are they need to eat it? No, they ate it already. Oh, they right? ate it already? No. Wait. One of the guests oh. is in studio and is gonna eat it with you. <laughs> okay, so we do need to wait on that. We could eat the pizza. Yeah, we could eat the pizza. I think we should eat the pizza. Uh, all right, what are, what are we thinking on this this strawberry or on the strawberry shortcake bar, the uh, Reese's bar, and the um, creamsicle bar? Uh, we've uh, you know we'd, I, I think we should review this brand like we would review a restaurant, mm-hmm. which means we each go around, give a closing argument, if you will, and give it a score from zero to five forks. So, Susser, why don't we start with you? Okay, these bars are fun. Uh, Nowadays, I feel like you don't see that many specific good humor branded ice cream trucks. Uh, I probably, as the only father of the three of us, encounter ice cream trucks, I would think, more than either of you, but I'm not sure. Um, well, it felt a little loaded the way you said that. The, <laughs> the other big competition. Yeah, I, get, what exactly does that mean? I guess like where you're like at school or something, you'll see an ice cream truck. Or at the park. Okay. Um, 
the other big competition at the ice. Do you think you encounter them more without your children or strictly with your children? <laughs> the the other thing that you see more of is uh, they have a lot of branded pops. It was a sincere question. I was. Uh, it's a mix. It's half and half. Okay, all right. Um, like a uh, SpongeBob pop or something yeah, like yeah, that. That's yeah, and yeah. the humor I think has nothing to do with Ninja Turtles. They have an Ninja Turtles, Turtles pop. They and have those, Sonic pop, which they have we a had Sonic on pop. here, which mm-hmm. has the gumball eyes. Yeah, those can be. Those are pretty popular, especially with the young kids. Yeah, but Choco Taco, which they didn't they stop making? Yeah, I think they stopped making that. So sad. But that was one of the best for actual taste. I think these good humor bars can't be beat. Yeah. And they're fun too. The you know, the term which I've never I don't know why they're called ice cream novelties, but I think there is a novelty to them that they're like, oh, it's like interesting. It's mm. like the little bites or the you know, the cream school. There's something like fun about them. You I agree. Know, a, a great Mitchism yeah. uh when he talks about food on Doughboys is when he's talking about some liking eating something, he says, I was having a great time. Sure. Which is not something that people usually people usually say I was enjoying the taste of. They, but, mm-hmm. but there is something that you're having a good time if you're eating yeah. a good humor bar. So no, for it's me, me. No, it's me. Oh no, okay. For me, I say five forks. Five forks. Five, wow, five forks. forks. Yeah, I, I think I similarly will say, like, oh, that's a lot of fun. Or like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm having fun when I'm talking about food. So I think that but I think that's just I you think know, it's more it feels, of a Mitch thing, but sure. You say it too. I don't think it's just a Mitch thing. Okay. I think it's a Mitchism. I don't know if it's a Mitchism. I don't know Specifically, tra- that was a lot of fun. I, I, we buried I that. Hatch, I don't know why you're trying to turn the Mitchism into I'm, a Wagerism. I'm saying, I'm saying we both have our own versions of it. Can we can we go back to the ice the yeah. ice creams that Good have humor. like they're like the SpongeBob ones or whatever? Uh-huh. If you're like uh, with these gumball eyes, <laughs> it's shaped like Sonic ice cream surprise <laughs> gumball <laughs> eyes. <laughs> I feel the sweetness between you and I. Do you know my favorite uh, ice cream? My, like my, you know, there's like the Ninja Turtle and the whatever. Yeah, I love the uh, the Marin Pop. <laughs> <laughs> the Marin Pop's great. <laughs> what the pop? That's what the pop is. <laughs> um, I look. They're a classic for a reason. I mm-hmm. really love that creamsicle. Really enjoyed that strawberry shortcake for the first time, uh, having it right now. Um, I mean, this. I'm going to give it five forks. Five forks. But for this, because, or five licks. What do we do? We used to do five spoons for ice cream. We, we, I mean, but I give my friendship to you two five forks as well. That's such wow. a nice thing to I say. I love both of you. Wow. It was, that episode was, uh, was bad. It was very mm-hmm. bad. It was a bad, uh, it was a bad, uh, and I was very upset. I was too upset. Um, but we worked it out, Wags. Yeah. Like, we work out everything. That's true. And that made me confident in our friendship. Except working out in general. <laughs> <laughs> that made me confident in our in our friendship and yes. the podcast yeah. for the future. Because yeah. I think that if we could come back from that, I think, you know, we can come back from everything. No, yeah. Until you, like, you know. Like turn down a free hot dog, and I get really mad at you for that or something. I mean, it's bound to happen. Uh, but yeah, I think that I think that that's the most upset I've ever been, and and uh, and and it was a it's a bad listen. And Sus, thank you for listening to it. Hanford, also thank you. Yeah, thanks, I don't Hanford. Know if Hanford needs a thank you. I feel like you had one person. Uh, but if we uh, want to get like a voicemail from Hanford and play that with his thoughts, we could do that too. <laughs> but I love both of you. Uh, love you too, I, I love the whole Doughboys crew. Love so, the whole crew. so, so, so uh, it was. Uh, I'm happy that it's behind us, and I'm happy no one will listen. The rest, too many to name. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, <laughs> Amelia, Casey, the... Mike. There's no point in you naming Mike. everyone. Hanford. <laughs> <laughs> Mike edits our video. Oh yes. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were talking about Hanford again. Sorry, Em. I know who Mike is. Uh, hey, you know what? Stop naming. It's only gonna go bad. I mean, I know fish. Mike. I know you know fish, him. Like underwater? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I, we were talking about Hanford. Uh, fish. I know you know. Fish, it's just DK, funny that you made that You yeah. song. Yeah. We'll name everybody. Everyone at Headgum. Anya the in the. And everyone at Feral. <laughs> I'm going to get the pizza.
Uh, Mitch gave it five forks. I am going to. Oh, Mitch, I also just want to say that I thought it was. Uh-huh. No, no, I just, just, it was really nice that what you just said. And I think it, it, I don't think it was a good converse. I think it was good that it happened. I think we had a good conversation in the aftermath. And I think it's, I love you too. And I think it's great that we can talk openly and honestly about things and that we can get on the other side of grievances and um, not just let them define us. Cause it's not, you know. Should I tell everyone what we bonded over? Wags came over and we both jacked off into my shower. <laughs> Standing I, I, up, and we tied. <laughs> we put a five minute timer on the on the dryer. And yeah, we finished, and we we finished at the same time. I think it's great. I think that this is a five fork friendship. I think it's great to see how you guys have. You know, it was. I I I'm not joking that when you were doing the intro and you were talking about again, I'm not going to go over the whole thing. But we were talking about all the stuff that's been done on the podcast. It's it's kind of crazy. Yeah, and I think that your friendship is strong. That you guys will be able to continue it for. Dare I say maybe another 400 episodes. Jesus Christ. Uh, as long as you Ooh. still have that great friendship connection and it continues to be so financially advantageous. To continue <laughs> <with it>. <laughs> <laughs> Which I will say, look, when, when, it, when the show started, I don't think that we thought, I didn't think we, I neither of us thought it would go on for this long. Well, also, yeah, you did it for a year and a half with basically making no money. Losing money, yeah. Losing money, in fact. And you did it then because... You liked each other, and it was fun. That's yes, a good point. And, and 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 also, I think it. Look, I, I think for both of us, neither of us wanted to have a, have a podcast be our main thing, right? And we work in a world now where you need it's not right. And I think that people like, I think people underestimate. I, I was talking about this on Discord last night of like, like how like uh, how much money gets made. The, just the working class for actors and i know look and I'm writers look, yeah i looked at i know that and writing crew. and acting is compared to digging ditches and doing actual physical labor is it's fun it's you know it's a fun it's a fun thing to sure. pursue but the wages and and it, you can't live off of it anymore it's the truth wags like you're saying with the wga and 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 with sag just working class in the in, in those areas and like all lines of work have been squeezed completely so we've been very lucky to have this podcast yes. and have people support us, which so I I want to thank people who who listen and support us too. Thank because you, thank you is, for our listeners, of course. It's, yes, oh, yeah. uh, oh, always, even though we give them a hard time. But uh, and can I just add one thing? Mm-hmm. You said you were going to go get the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm thank not. You, I'm not going to go five forks, but I do. I these did outperform my memory. Um, <laughs> five forks. <laughs> Welcome to the Platinum Plate Club. Good humor. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more Doughboys. All right, gentlemen, it's time to talk about your kitchen. I'm not talking about your roommate's dishes in the sink, but we all know you've been making egg sandwiches in a torn up witch's cauldron. You call a pan since college. Bikes. Guilty as charged. Today's sponsor, Hexclad, has revolutionized the cookware industry with a hybrid pan that gives you all the convenience and cleanup of nonstick, the versatility of your grandma's cast iron, and they're so durable, they literally last a lifetime. We're serious. They have a lifetime warranty just in case you find a way to destroy them while making your hinge dates ramen noodles. You don't have to worry about that with me, Wags. Gordon Ramsay might be the toughest critic in the entire world, and these are the pots and pans that he uses both at home and in his Michelin star restaurants. Wow. Hexclad products also come with a lifetime warranty. That's right. These are literally the last sets of pots and pans you will ever have to buy. For a limited time only, our listeners get 10% off their entire order with the code DOUGHBOYS at hexclad.com. Support our show and check them out at H-E-X-C-L-A-D dot com and use the code Doughboys. I bought my mom some fancy pans for the holidays, and we make eggs one morning. She serves me the eggs. I bought her a pan, then she made me breakfast. The eggs were stained from the bottom of the pan. She threw the pan in the trash. Oh, no. Well, guess what? You don't got to worry about that happening with our next sponsor, Hexclad. Hexclad's six-piece set is the perfect starter set to enjoy the incredible versatility of their products. The set features three of their most popular pans with an accompanying lid that can handle all of your pan cooking needs, whether it's eggs, burgers, steaks, or sauces. Your kitchen will never be the same. It's time to get people talking about something other than that smell coming from behind your stove. For a limited time, get 10% off with the code DOUGHBOYS at Hexclad.com. That's 10% off Hexclad.com with code DOUGHBOYS. Bon appetit, let's eat with Hexclad's revolutionary cookware.
Welcome back to Doughboys. We're here with Evan Susser. We got pizza we're eating, and we also have a beverage, and we're going to decide if you should pour it down your throat. It's another edition of Drink or Stank. Uh, before we get to that, just a note for uh, Amelia when you're listening to this later. Uh, if you order the Doughboys a pizza, you could feel free to like make that a large pizza. <laughs> <laughs> This is all medium, yeah. medium or small. Yeah. <laughs> so first of all, let's say she for your guys' next episode, you're yes. ordering some food from Domino's. That's correct. Which which came out the previous week. We did that with the, too scary to watch. She put out to the text chain, hey, while I'm ordering from Domino's, would you guys like me to, you know, throw on a pizza or something? And somehow, you know, no everyone no one wanted to say, Yeah, I need to eat another pizza. Yeah, right. But Clearly, everyone wanted a pizza. We all so wanted also, pizza. Amelia, feel free to just add a pizza next time <laughs> <laughs> and a large pizza. Don't, don't make us ask. I don't. Yeah, I don't know why. I, I don't know why. But I mean, I mean, I mean, it's. Hmm, I'm saying, I don't know. Thank why. Thank you, Amelia. I, I forgot that I wasn't talking into the microphone. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't know why I wasn't like get two large pizzas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know why we were so. Coy. We didn't want to take ownership of being the guy. Like, like, yeah, please get us pizzas because we are we're fucking big goblins. Yeah, but we we wanted them. But we wanted the pizza. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sister, you've been playing. You've been playing Tears of the Kingdom, right? Yeah. Mitch, you haven't cracked it open yet. Mm -mm. Uh, and Emma, you've been playing some Tears of the Kingdom, or did you just got it? I literally just opened it last night. I played for like an hour, so I'm not very far into it. But so far, I love it. It's a wow. it's a it's a meaty tutorial. You got some mm -hmm. ways to go. Yeah. Uh, uh, Casey, you mess around with Tears of the Kingdom at all? You a Zelda guy? Uh, not yet. I, I want to, but I uh, haven't gotten into it's it great. yet. It's really good. So what? This is we're doing a drink or snake. Sus, you brought it. That's right. Susser brought this. Yes. He was like, "Do you have a segment?" And I was like, "I do," but he's like, "Oh well, I brought this. We don't have to have it." I was like, "Well, of course we should have that." Well, nice I got these because at the grocery store. I spotted them. I thought they looked good. Got some for home, and I said, "Oh, this is a perfect Doughboys thing. It's Dr Pepper." It was funny it's, that you brought these and you also brought an invoice to us for these. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's the Dark Pepper Zero, which is, I don't know if you guys, well, you're, if you have a soda these days, if you're doing Zero or Diet or regular. I become a Coke Zero guy. Yes. One Coke Zero day is like, well, I, I much prefer, treat. at this point, I because I would drink when I drink soda, I used to drink Diet Coke. Mm -hmm. Now I can't. Handled now. I can't take now a diet coke. Me I don't either. like. I don't like it. So basically, zero is I, what I like. I actually like diet coke. Interesting. I know some people are still in that camp, but I like the zero. So the Dr Pepper zero, I like. And then I thought, oh, this could be interesting. So should we do a drink or stank? Let's do it. All right, I just Dr. crashed over this bad boy. I think JF was talking this up. Oh wow! All right. Yeah. Well, he's a fucking idiot. So let's see. What he... <laughs> there we go. Jesse Ferrar from your Kickstarter sucks. Let's have a taste. Hmm. Hmm. It's good. They used to have a cherry there's vanilla. A slight, or they a still slight... have a cherry vanilla? I don't know if they still do. They used to for sure. It's, it, it reminds me of this, obviously, a, a different, but it's like the same sort of concept. There's a slight aftertaste of like diet and strawberry at the same time. Mm, let me try it again. But it's interesting you guys like it because now I have a reveal. I already had one of these. I got a whole box, and Jamie and I both had them. My wife and we hated them, and that's wow. why I brought them. Wow! Wow! <laughs> what did you hate about it? I think it's too many flavors. I think mm. Dr. Pepper so, is a already second. a bunch of flavors, and then you add hold the cream second. and strawberries. Uh huh. I got a segment for today. I'm gonna bring these sodas that we hate and get rid of them out of the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. It's funny. It is funny. What was your segment, Wags? Probably like a, a like a beautiful look pat at the the past four hundred episodes. <laughs> no, I had a I had a a, a do. It, it's fine. So uh, we'll we'll use it in a different future episode. What was it? We'll do it in a future episode. But it was uh. You fucked up, sus. Yeah. We might we we might end up doing it on last week's episode. Okay. So if we did, if you heard serving USA. That's what I originally planned for this episode. Oh, that sounds good. It sounds good. Sounds like there's some sort of song involved. <laughs> yeah, that, there's maybe a song. Uh, that maybe would have happened. Ah! <laughs> uh, that might have happened the previous week. We'll see. No, no, no. It's good to get your old sodas you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> it could happen next week's episode, too. Let's go serving now. Everybody's serving how? Serving USA? 
Yeah, I mean, you know, you know kind of like that. I mean, not you know, not sp- not exactly, but yeah, it's just, that's the everybody's going I, serving, serving U.S. It was, it was if everybody had a tray. It's a if everybody had a portion. Oh. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> it's it's fine. We'll maybe use we'll maybe have already used it or maybe use this it next week. This episode is mostly recapping things that the listener doesn't get to hear. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say drank. I, I think, think it's a big time drank. I wow, really like this. I should have brought the rest. You, you have any you have anything else in your fridge you want to clear? Out? <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna do with the rest if you don't like them? Are you still gonna drink them just begrudgingly? Yeah, probably. I'll probably finish this one. I think it's pretty good. I think I, it's pretty good. What's the, what's the big? What's the deal? I mean, it's I think a big it's a fucking deal, buddy. I think it's just a lot of flavors. Ungapachka, some yeah. might say. Mm-hmm. I'll um, say I can smell them from here. You can smell them from wow. here. It's a very strong strawberry scent. Emma, can you smell them in Chicago? <laughs> I can, and it's nauseating. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, Sus made uh, an executive decision there, taking the whole rest of the pizza box into his lap. <laughs> 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 Um. Yeah, drank for me. You know what? I like doing a classic old school segment, Wags. Yeah, I love a class. I look. We we're back in studio. Should That's we do an unsatisfied the- Yelper too. <laughs> <laughs> Did I have another unsatisfied Yelp- Yelper? What Wait, hold on, hold on. I think we did. This might be one thing that's worth. Wow. No, I think this is actually worth reviving from our original uh, episode. 400, because I don't think we got to this in the recorder. You'll, be, you'll let me know, Sus. No, you didn't. Uh, Amelia, so our, our we used to have a thing that was a, a segment called An Unsatisfied Yelper, and they're very early going. It was discontinued. Uh, it was kind of hard to source, and they weren't always good, and sometimes they were just kind of a bummer because people were insane. Um, but this is one that, uh, that, that Amelia found. This is a new Unsatisfied Yelper review from... Uh, December of 2022 of the Inglewood Chilies. This is from Janae G. of Henderson, Nevada. Wow. Let me read this. I wish I could give them zero stars. Found small worm in my broccoli. There's no telling if any were in my honey chipotle chicken crispers as they touched. I ordered chicken crispers with broccoli and fries, and I was eating my broccoli when I found a small worm on them. I thought it was tripping (laughs) until I used my camera light to see it real good. I'm so upset as I was hungry and couldn't wait for my lunch break to see that. I had stopped going there due to the bad service of either lack of staff or staff not knowing what they're doing and the food taking too long or being cold when it comes out. This time food being served warm with worms I can't even eat. It was stuck in between broccoli and used my nail to move it and it came out. So disappointed. It was very uh, it was very pleasant speaking to the mod. She resolved the issue. So you actually did get to that. In the yeah. last episode. Oh, we did? Yeah. I don't you guys oh, don't remember it? No, no, I don't. I don't remember that at all. Um, it's gross. I was confused when she says the mod. I think it's a manager on duty. duty? Oh. Do we talk about the worm? You talk about the worm and you talk about movies with the worm, and then you look up top movies with worms in it. We and look then up you're worm like, rounders. What? Oh, the right. character's name is Warm. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm remembering this I do now. remember this I'm remembering now. Again, this not now. to get into the whole episode. I knew that we'd want to talk about the worm, this small yeah. worm that mm-hmm. she brings up. Um, But we, 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 oh, we talk about our, the big worm movies. Yeah. Okay. There's a, there's a pic of the worm, or is that Mitch's hawk? <laughs> Dude, this is what started the fight. <laughs> This is the exact thing that started the fight. That you're right. It's coming back to me now from this exact run. Uh, what were the, some of the worm movies? Do you remember? Tremors. Tremors. Lair of the White Worm. Mm. I don't remember. Rounders. Dune, probably. Dune. Dune. Oh, Dune of course, yeah. Dune. Oh, my God. He, he has amped for Dune Part 2. Oh, I'm uh, very excited. I fucking Slither. Like yeah. The Last Dance. The Last Dance. <laughs> the Dennis Rodman, The Worm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, good, right? I mean, good? is it a movie? <laughs> Magnolia has a worm thing, right? Oh, yeah. You're looking for a guy named Worm? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, it sounds like the last episode, maybe we should release it. It sounds like it was good. <laughs> They're good parts. They're so, peaks and valleys. Sus, we appreciate what you do for the show, too. We don't it? need to do this every time. All we right. just had fun. We did have fun. Uh, all right, hey, uh, uh, that was a drink or stank. 
and um, an unsatisfied Yelper, and just like a restaurant with all your feedback. Let's have another feedback. Wow. Today we have an email from Cassie. Cassie writes. Hey, see, he's right there. Why do you email us? Hey, see, you can just ask us. And the email shy. says, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Today's the day. <laughs> See, I told you. This is clearly a letter of resignation template. You didn't even replace the placeholder. <laughs> Copy pasted it. Uh, I will be dragging my boyfriend. This is from Cassie. Cassie writes. It's like I, John Morant's AI apology. Yeah. <laughs> <he's, laughs> and then, and then, apology. As an AI language model, I can't listen to a podcast, but from your description, <laughs> it sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and you should quit. Uh, I will be dragging my boyfriend to the Boston show on June 10th. What? Also our two year anniversary. Wow. My question is All right, we got we have a scenario here. Here's the scenario. Food podcasts are illegal. They have already arrested the deli boys. No. Yeah. I mean, they'll be the first ones. <laughs> First, they came for the deli boys, and I said nothing. If they came for the deli boys, I'd say something. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Doughboys are currently on the run from the cops. What fast food chain do you hide out in? Personally, I would hide in none because I'm not a nerd with a food podcast. Okay. Wow. Love you guys. Um, so this is tricky because if food podcasts are illegal and they know what kind of ground we cover, what are you doing? Hold on. It's, don't you're worry about it. You're, you're actively texting. Don't worry about hand. it. Well, you, at least busting your, your second thumb to accelerate the process. There you go. <laughs> I, it's, it's done. What were you doing? You'll, maybe you'll find out. Is it related to the show? Mm-hmm. Okay. To this episode? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Does he need to check his phone? No. If it works out, you'll hear it. Food podcasts are illegal. We're on the run from the cops, Mitch and I. What fast food chain do we hide out in? So they know the 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 cops know our gimmick. They know what we do. They know what they're going to be, you know, they know where we, what our normal stomping grounds would be. I don't think you want to try to find safe haven in like a Taco Bell because uh, they'll you know, they'll know we might be there or McDonald's. I, I don't know. What fast food chain do we uh, Well, the question do you is, do you want to go to a crowded one or do you want to go to an empty one? Like, if you went to In-N-Out, yeah. like they could, like, try and search In-N-Out, but it's packed all the time in In-N-Out and That's there's a, a good long drive through And also, yeah. they're going to get in there and they're going to be like, oh, man, I want to get a double-double. And they'll get distracted. Yeah. Because maybe the first instinct would be like, oh, go to, like, a... Long John Silver's or, you know, Ghost Town one. Right. But those, you'll be, you'll be the only ones in there. That's a so good point. easy to spot. That's... I think a popular, I, I would say in and out is a good one. In I... my mind, like, so what's, like, the most bunkerous, you know, like, the most, Ooh. the most, like, a bunker? There's a, there's a triangle and a square left. Anyone want? You either? can take whatever, you whichever you'd like. I don't really need any pizza. I'm grabbing the square. <laughs> You're on camera eating a lot of it. <laughs> no, no, no. No pizza for me. <laughs> No, thank you. But you guys enjoy. I'll tell. Can I tell you? Can I tell That's you? That's a really funny move. I love. I love that guy when there's like a shared item. They like immediately scarf down a lot, and then they're like, "That the rest is all yours." Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bud. It feels like you know this character from. Uh, <laughs> feels like maybe you've played this character yeah. before. Mm -hmm. Seen it on your front facing camera. Uh, I'll tell you what I was texting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I texted Hanford and I said, will you send a voice memo God summing up your <laughs> thoughts on the, that was supposed on the episode? To be, that's my, that was the whole idea. <laughs> the whole thing I was preparing for. I listened to it twice to prepare. That sucks. It did. Well, you've listened to it more than anyone will listen to it. Yeah, Except Emma, maybe. Sorry, Emma. <laughs> and again, if you, see, so if you see Mitch and ask him, he'll probably just play it for you. Yeah, I'll play it for you. I'll um, stand there for two hours and hold the mm -hmm. phone up for you. I, I here's here's my here's my uh, thing off of Susser's pitch, which is that I think crowded is good. I think you want highly trafficked, but I think you also want it to feel kind of labyrinthine and hard mm -hmm. to like navigate. And that puts me in a hot place that's always hopping, a place that has a huge footprint, and a place that maybe you like like maybe there's an upstairs, there's a downstairs. Where could someone be? The Cheesecake Factory. Mm. That's pretty good. Not fast food. But 
Was a, was a question specifically fast food? Yeah, but it's a chain restaurant. Yeah, a chain it qualifies. Restaurant. We good. cover chain restaurants. Yeah. That's what we do. That's our gimmick. That's mm-hmm. a great, great answer. And if a Costco food court counts, I might also say that too, because I think ooh, that's that's ooh. very hop in, and I think there's you know easy for someone to get also, lost. Also, you have there. to be a member, and you have to be a member. There you go. I think my answer is hmm, McDonald's, because I go into the. I would go into the play place, mm-hmm. and then you could probably lose them in the tunnels. Right. You know what I'm saying? You could, and like, run. Just, yeah, you in hopping like... into a play place isn't going to arise any suspicion. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, oh, Grimace is there, right? Everything's normal. <laughs> <laughs> also, they'll have to, like, remove a tube because I'm stuck in the tube. Basically, another Charlie and the Chocolate Factory scenario. <laughs> uh, I've never been in a, I've never been in a play place as an adult. Me neither. Yeah, me neither. It'd be weird I'm, to do. Would you be able to fit in there? Like, like uh, that's like a you question. Just jumped in like, the ball. You could. I mean, like, like one of those those slides. Yeah. Like, would we be able to? Would we? Able, would we be able to traverse a play place? You know, today's children are bigger than ever. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're I think huge. they're probably they've been scaled up for yeah. these big kids. Mm-hmm. You know, I think having, that they were always pretty sturdy. There was like you know like seven kids in there. Oh. How many kids does take do it? Will would add up to me? Seven. I'm trying to think of how much of a, a kid. How much do a kid weigh? Fifty pounds? Depends on what yeah, age kid. Depends. Oh, yeah, 50, fifty. Seven kids? Yeah, I'd say five to seven kids. Okay, depends on the age. You're right. What a five? What does a five year old weigh? Like fifty pounds? Ten well, pounds per year? Depends on the kid. Ten pounds per year, and I'm at forty. So I do the math. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think, yeah, I think McDonald's play place could work. I mean, you could also like go incognito in the ball pit. You just go mm. under there and you'd have a lot of coverage. I and am proud of, I am proud of ourselves that we, that we don't weigh 400 pounds by 400. I think that we're good, you know, got close. That would be a great thing to, we uh, should try to hit 500 pounds by episode 500. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be the whale. That's all right, though. Yeah. The whale had a pretty good, the whale had a pretty good setup. <laughs> All the gay porno he could consume, all the meatball subs he could eat. Yeah, I guess yeah. Oh, yeah he didn't have to go in his shower to jack off. He was just right there in his chair. <laughs> Same place he taught his Zoom lectures. <laughs> I, I I do I do think it will be interesting to see how much weight we gained since the start. I mean, like we we've seen old photos. You can tell by old photos. I haven't weighed myself, but I know generally mm-hmm. what I weighed around then. I think I've I've put on. I've put on close to 50 pounds. I'd, I would say podcast. probably the same, 50 yeah. to 60. How much of that is doughboys? How much is that, that is the natural aging process and our own bad decisions? You yeah. know, but I, but yeah, definitely have, I'm, I'm up quite a bit. Yeah. Same. No. Yeah. Mm. Worth it though. Yeah. So, sir, where are you weight wise since doughboys started? Good question. I've yo yoed a bunch uh, as doughboys has gone on. Mm-hmm. Mostly, uh, I guess a yo yo that mostly stays. <laughs> yeah. Very, very, very high up. One of those tricks where the yo yo right. goes up and yeah. stays. It stays <laughs> and then very occasionally <laughs> drops down, that kind of yo yo. Sure, yeah, yeah. But I think, so I think that maybe I'm back where I started. Yeah. Um, when Doughboy, uh, no, I think I was less when Doughboy, I don't know. It's been back and forth. I'm yeah. not sure. Is this, has this a joke that said anyone's done? It's like, yeah, I kind of, I kind of got a, a yo-yo diet. Yeah, yo-yo, give me a burger. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good. Oh, dude, I bet you that joke's been done a million <laughs> times. <laughs> <laughs> yo-yo, give me a burger. That's been done a million times. Yeah, you're right. It's old. It's old hat. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, well, we're done. Yo-yo. Yeah, well, we're done. Uh, this is a, this is a tight episode, but whatever is a different format. Uh, if you have a question, we, we, we whatever, we, 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 we stretch it out. <laughs> we exer- we exercise the demons. Exactly, that was the main purpose. That was the main purpose. That we had some Domino's. It was delicious. Yeah, we didn't save any you for think Casey. People are gonna think this is a freaking ripoff. <laughs> there is. There are two. Oh no, there's not. No, there's no more pizza. There no, is one slice. There is one slice of pizza left. Wait, is there? Yeah, and I'm gonna eat it. Sorry, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> If you have a question or comment about the world of chain restaurants, you can email us at doughboyspodcast at gmail.com or leave us a voicemail at 830-GO-DOUGH. That's 830-463-6844. And to get the Doughboys Double or Weekly Bonus mm-hmm. episode, join the Golden or Platinum Play Club at patreon.com slash doughboys. And buy the merch. And buy the, and merch. Buy the merch. Yes, that's right. Doughboys, 
www.kinshipgoods.com. That's the URL. New hats, new shirts, aprons, totes, the whole lot. We got more stuff wow. coming. Uh, a lot of a lot of exciting stuff that's going to be planned for you. So check us out. We're very excited to be partnered with Kinship Goods. Doughboys.kinshipgoods.com. And to hit it again, Wags, thank you to everyone who supports the show. We love you. And thank you for listening for the last we love episodes. You. Thank you so much. Susser, anything you'd like to plug? Nope. Episode 500. Wow. Wow. We'll see you back here in another 100 episodes. Oh, man. Two years, basically? No, uh, two years. All right. Two years till once again we say, this is Sparta 500. Bye. Until next time, this is Bye-bye with Chalabnik while you're happy eating. See ya. Sources for the intro are in the episode description. That was a HeadGum Podcast. Hey guys, it's Mike Hanford, one of, if not the most popular guests on Doughboys. Uh, I heard the the unreleased episode, and I gotta say, it was it was something. It was entertaining. It was wild. Um, it was you know a prime example of you got Nick Weiger, one of the most you know cold, calculated, vicious people in Hollywood, going up against Mike Mitchell, one of the most trusting, sensitive people out there. Uh, and, and really somebody who, who Nick Wagner would put in his crosshairs and try to take down. Um, I, but, but yeah, the episode was crazy. I thought, I wanted to hear more about it. I wanted to hear more details about the texts, what was said when you guys were fighting in person, because I think that happened maybe. Um, yeah, I just wanted more. But what can I say? I'm, a, I'm sort of a sick fuck. Uh, oh, well, let me tell you this two guys, congratulations on the 400th episode. That's huge. I'm, I'm so proud of you. That's crazy that it's, it's been going that long. Uh, and hey, 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 here's to 400 more. Here's to four more, at least. Let's do, let's just focus on, let's get a month done and see where we're at. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys, oh, you know, those Coke machines where you can mix and match flavors of Coke, like you can do a diet cherry vanilla and just, you see them at the movie theaters a lot. Well, anyway. They're doing something like that for Heinz condiments. I think Heinz is making something like that. Look into it. Uh, it could be huge for the fast food restaurant industry. I'm just saying take a look. Okay, guys, I'm going to get out of here. This is already way too long. Love you. So glad you patched things up. Uh, can't wait to hear more episodes and can't wait to see you guys again in person. <laughs>